Hey everyone. So if you've been working with Unity ML agents for more than a month, basically you'll notice that they tend to update it about once a month. And uh, it's just about time, I think, for them to release another one. So uh, the reason I know this is because if you're on their GitHub repository, the ML agents one, and you go to their branches, they have a release 0 0.13. And they're currently working on 0 0.12, but they tend to release these um, about once a month. So I was looking ahead of time in the migrating from point 0.12 to point 0.13, and I mostly uh, am interested in the Academy stuff. So they did some changes in the low-level Python API. Um, that doesn't affect any of my tutorials that I've released or any of my projects, but this one is kind of a big deal. The Academy no longer has a default reset parameters field in the inspector, and the Academy class no longer has reset parameters. So reset parameters, if you're unfamiliar, are used in curriculum learning. Curriculum learning meaning you can specify a list of different values that change and increase in difficulty as your agents learn. So this is a curriculum configuration file. It's a JSON file that I uh, created and you'll use if you take the airplane Udemy ML agents course. Let's see, let me rephrase that. The Udemy airplane Unity ML agents course. And in here, basically there are some thresholds. So once it hits a reward of one, then it jumps from a uh, value of 50 to 30. And what is this value? It's the checkpoint radius. So in this course, you teach airplanes to fly around a racetrack, essentially. And there are these checkpoints that you fly through. So the radius is basically how close do you need to get to the checkpoint before we give you the thumbs up and say, good job. So we start out by saying, okay, we'll start, the radius is 50, then it changes to 30, then 20, then 10, then zero. So in the code, this used to look sort of like, let's see, like this, this line right here. Basically, you'd say uh, the academy.reset parameters, and then you'd ask for this, this parameter right here, this checkpoint radius. And this would match this value right here. So essentially what I'm doing in the code, it's not critical that you understand what this code is doing, except that I'm asking it for that current value. And this will update every time the academy is reset. With the new way, I've actually, uh, this is just an accessor variable in the academy now. I'm going to switch over to the academy and show you what that is. It's just a basic getter and setter. So this is not sp like specific to this version of ML agents. It's just how I chose to implement it. And where I set that is right here. This is what's really important. So rather than using the reset parameters dictionary that they were using before, they use this uh, register callback method to basically set up a function that should be called every time this value changes. So it does this, well, we're doing it inside initialize academy. So you set up this callback as soon as the academy is initialized. And then as the curriculum continues, it'll call this code um, that gets passed in as a function. So we say float properties dot register callback. And then it's a callback so that anytime this checkpoint radius um, variable is changed, we call this function, and this is, uh, I guess this is called a lambda. So you do this f equals greater than symbol. And then you need curly braces. And inside of there, you can do whatever code you need to. So in this case, I'm just setting this value to f. f being whatever this checkpoint radius is. So essentially, anytime this callback is called, it's updating the checkpoint radius and then this code is uh, called right here, and it's accessing whatever the latest version that it got from that call. The other little thing I'll mention is that the Aircraft Academy here, if you look at this, um, this used to, and any academy you had, used to show a bunch of different um, like parameters and things you could change, like how fast you wanted training to run, what you wanted your 
uh, output window in terms of like the resolution of it, what you wanted that to be. They've actually removed all of that from here, and now that can be configured when you run your uh, Python script and stuff. So uh, that's the most substantial change that's coming in version 13. If you want to learn more about it, of course, go to the ML Agents uh, GitHub repository. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. Do let me know if there's anything else that's new in version uh, 0.13 that you might want to learn about.